This video explains how to select variables from a data frame that contain a particular string in the column name. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing five rows, and two of the columns are called call1 and call2 and the other two columns are called x1 and x2. Now let's assume that we want to keep only those columns where the column name contains the character string col. So in this case, the columns col1 and col2. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 8. And in this line of code, I'm subsetting our data frame using square brackets. And within the square brackets, I'm specifying a comma because I want to tell R that I want to keep only some columns, but I want to keep all rows. And then on the right side of the comma, I'm using the grep function. And within this function, I'm specifying the character string for which I want to search. And I'm using the call names function to extract the column names of our data frame. And then I'm storing this subset in a new data frame that I'm calling data match. So if you run line 8 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is returned, which is called data match. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a subset of our data frame, which contains only the columns call1 and call2. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.